So our kids' preschool is asking us to send a pillowcase for nap time. Um, and I'm going to make one using this technique from Nancy Zeman's new book, Sewing A to Z. Um, I love the book. Uh, I've written about how much I love the book. Um, I think it's a really fantastic resource that has just these crisp, clear illustrations, very clean instructions, um, and it is entirely designed to be this encyclopedia of techniques. And so she's got this one that she calls Wrapped Corners, where she talks about working with intersecting seams. And that's what I'm doing here, and I'm not even kidding that I've been doing um, 90 degree corners for literally decades and my jaw dropped open when she mentioned this, like she was sort of talking through it, not even demonstrating, just sort of talking through the technique that she describes here in this book. Um, and my jaw fell open and I, I almost jumped up and ran out of the room to go get my machine because I wanted to try it because I couldn't believe it really worked, but of course as she's explaining it, of course it works. So here's how it goes. I'm making a pillowcase here, right? And I've already stitched my first seam along the short edge. And so ordinarily, when I did this, I would come up one edge and I would pivot at the corner and stitch across, and then I would cut this off at a 45 degree angle later in order to get a nice crisp point at a 90 degree angle there. And that's not how Nancy Zeman does this technique. She stitches the first seam and leaves it open at the end, so these two sides have not been stitched yet. And then she goes to the ironing board and folds along the seam line like this. Press, 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 press. It helps if you chant press, press, press it. Um, you think it doesn't make a difference. Totally helps. Press, 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 all the way down. So I'm gonna press the seam nice and crisp right along that seam line, good and square. And then I'll come back here, where I see I've pressed it right on that seam line. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to come back, and now I will stitch my other seam down this opposite edge, right? And capture the seam allowance. See how it's folded over there? Capture that simultaneously. So how about I run go do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is. After that seam is stitched, you can see here, it folds down that opposite direction seam allowance there at the corner, nice and clean. And then when you turn it right side out, so seam going that way, this is folded over, flip it right side out. See how, I mean, there's nothing really to, to clip off because it's already folded. So you flip it right side out. I mean, even just with your finger, you can get a really nice corner, but then if you take a point turner too, and I'm using, you know, my trusty bamboo knitting needle. Oh, shut up. I mean, for real, shut up. Look how cute that is. Then we'll do the other one here. And again, this is just like a bamboo knitting needle. This is not any sort of fancy equipment here. And you get these really obnoxiously, obnoxiously sharp. Look at that. No clipping. So simple. You run one seam, then you run the other two seams, and you get these really, really beautifully crisp corners there. Bing, bing. Um. I know that I am really kind of geeking out over this, but I think this is such a cool technique. And imagine, she does it on collars too. Can you imagine getting a really sharp collar corner, or point rather, using that technique? Love it. It's in her new book, Sewing A to Z. Awesome. awesome.